Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you an alternative SSH client to both PuTTY and PowerShell that you normally see me using. It's called a mobile X term. To get to it, you go to https colon slash slash moba xterm dot moba tek dot net. And once you're on the website, you can see you can click get mobile xterm now, click download now, and you get two options. You get port position, which doesn't require installation, but does still require admin rights, and you get an install version. So I'm using the portable version just now, you just click that. Once it's downloaded, go to your downloads folder. You can right click and extract all. In my case, I'm using 7zip. Extract it to folder and then inside that folder you can double click on the icon. Once it opens up in front of you, you can literally just enter a server name. Now if you've seen my previous tutorial, I used a program called the Angry IP Scanner. And as you can see here, I have a Raspberry Pi with two network connections. That's currently on 192.168.0.56. So let's try connecting to that. So 192.168.0.56. Hit return. I want it to be a SSH session. I can even specify the username, which, since this is our default Raspberry Pi solution, is going to be Pi and the port. And then I can click OK. It's asking me for a password, which, as this is a default Raspberry Pi, is Raspberry. It's asking if I want to save the password. This is very useful when doing a project in Raspberry Pi. I'm going to say don't show this message again. I'm going to click yes. It's going to ask me to set a master password. Think about this as a key to your safe so that you can remember the password that's already stored. It says prompt me for master password only on new Windows accounts or new computer every time it's started up or every time it's start up and resumed from standby. So I'm okay with every time there's a new Windows account on a new computer. Click OK. And as you can see, we're inside our Raspberry Pi. So if I just do ls, I won't see anything. If I do cd slash back and then ls, there you go. I can also do hostname, I believe. Yeah, Raspberry Pi. Okay. So you're like, well, what's so special about this? Well, other than the fact that you can reconnect to it nice and easily, there is this magic part over here. So if you click this box down here, it says follow the terminal folder. Right. If I was to say change to the media folder and then do an LS, there's nothing in the media folder, unfortunately. Let's try my home folder. Inside my home folder, there's obviously the user Pi, so we'll change the user called Pi. And there's nothing in there, so what we'll do is I'll touch a file which creates a new file, and we'll just call it hi.txt. As you can see, I can now use this portion over here to browse the file system of the Raspberry Pi. So if I double click in home, double click in Pi, there is hi.txt that I just created. You can right click, you can open it. Open up your default text editor, open up something else, open up with a different program, you can download it, delete it, rename it, providing you have the correct permissions. Copy the file path, copy the file to the terminal using middle mouse click. You can set its properties, or you can check its properties rather, and you can check its permissions. So if I do that, you can see it gives me the path. This means that doing more complex installations in Linux is a lot easier. And all of the standard commands would work. So if I do a reboot, in fact, it'll be sudo reboot, as you can see. It states that it's rebooting. So I'll give it a moment. And then once it's back, I will literally just have to click R and it will log back into this box. Shouldn't take too long to reboot. Okay, it appears to have rebooted. Now if I click R, and there we go. I'm automatically logged back in. I can check that by doing host name. And if I do the CD slash back, you can also see that now that I've reconnected, this is following me live. If I go back to home, back to Pi, there's my hi.txt. And it proves that it's actually a live installation. If I do apt get it, that's not going to work because I have not used sudo. So super user do apt get update. You can see it's going out to the internet and it's checking for any updated packages on the Raspberry Pi. And there you go, that's mobile extra the best SSH client available for Windows. I believe it's also available for Mac, although I have yet to test a Mac version. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. 
and most of all, thank you for watching.